Hi there, a quick little video um, looking at Lightwave um, and then using Blender's sculpting tools. So um, let's have a little bash. So here we are, we're in Lightwave Modeler. Uh, we've got our model, and what I want to do is um, add some uh, sculpted detail into our model. So we've got a basic retopology uh, head. I want to go back in and re sculpt it a little bit and maybe go and change it. Sort of thing you might want to go and do is you might want to go and create morph targets or you might want to go and use a base head and then uh, sculpt it into a whole new different type of head to add more characters to your scene. That type of sort of tools um, would require really sculpting would be a, a really uh, good addition. Now Lightwave doesn't have any sculpting tools currently um, but um, there is Blender which is an open source app that many find quite hard to use um, uh, with, with good reason I think it is a bit of an oddball app but if you just use it for the odd thing uh, such as sculpting and just learn a couple of the tools inside that then I think it's fine um, you go you, you jump out of your favorite app Lightwave jump into uh, Blender bring your model inside it sculpt it export it you're done you made a new head or you've added some uh, morph targets or whatever you wanted to go and do just learn a couple of tools inside Blender and I think you'll be quite happy to use it uh, it won't be uh, a pain at all so what we need to do we need to go uh, here go to file need to go to export I'm going to export as a object file so we export as an object file save it out and then we need to go and launch um, Blender. So I've got Blender. If I've just downloaded it, which comes in a zip. This is the contents of the zip, which I've just dropped into a folder. And let's go and launch Blender. So double-click the Blender icon. That's going to launch Blender up. Here we go. Blender 2.571. Uh, preset I'm going to use is Maya. Okay, so I've used that. Click in the viewport. Get rid of that. Let's go up and um, change a few things. So under user preferences under the input tab here I want to just go and check that uh, I can select with my left hand mouse button which is uh, by default it's selecting with right hand mouse button which, again a bit odd that's why people have such a hard time in Blender usually so left hand mouse button would make it a bit simpler and then the orbit style of the viewport uh, set to turntable and I've got the Maya as my preset uh, shortcuts for navigating the uh, viewport as well. And then I'm going to go and say save as default. Save as default. That's all good and groovy. Um, what I want to do currently is get rid of this cube. In the viewport at the moment we have a camera, a light and a default cube and the 3D cursor. Let's just ignore the 3D cursor because we just don't need to learn it. Um, so if I select with my left hand mouse button, I can select the camera or I can go and select the cube. So I've got the cube selected. I'm going to press the delete key and it says, do you want to go and delete it? And uh, yes, please delete. So we've now got a cleaned out scene with just a light, 3D cursor and a camera. So let's go and import our Lightwave head model to have a little play with sculpting tools. So if I go file and then go import, and I'm going to select a waveform, wavefront obj dot obj format okay then i'm going to go and jump to my d drive going to jump to the vr folder and inside the vr folder i've got my lightwave objects folder if i can remember what the alphabet works with over objects there we go i'm looking at uh val may the 19th object we've got a material and we've got an object let's go and load the object so select this guy and go over to the right hand side it says import object import the object hey there you go now um, remembering we use the Maya preset um, I think in the end what, what's going to happen we're going to have several presets inside Blender so uh, you'll have a, 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 a Maya preset and an XSI preset or soft image preset and um, a VDS Max preset and hoping someone out there will go and also make a Lightwave preset uh, let's quickly jump to presets. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to show you where they are. So again, if we go to file, and we go to uh, user preferences. You can go and set your all your keys and your interface and your editing. You know how you want things to work um, in here, and then go and save it as a new preset, and we can call it Lightwave, for instance. So I'm hoping someone's going to make a little Lightwave preset. So when we go and jump in and out of Lightwave into Blender to do a little bit of work, and then jump back into um, Lightwave again. Uh, it's as seamless as possible. That'll be really nice, I think. Uh, there's a few things 
in blenders that are quite useful for uh, many lightwave artists. I mean, uh, quite a few I see use um, the fluid simulation, the sculpting tools, and the compositor. So worthwhile, a quick jump. It's it's an open source app. It's you can add it as you can sort of think of it as a bit of a uh, an open source plugin extension for Lightwave or for any app to be on to be honest. Um, so we're just going to use it for sculpting. So we've got this head in here. Uh, we've got Maya navigation. So Maya navigation, if you've never used the Maya, gaf blah, blah, Maya navigation method, it's all based around the Alt key on your keyboard, which is the left hand ALT key next to the space bar. And you hold that down, and then your different mouse buttons do different functions. So if I hold my uh, Alt key down, which I've got held down now, I press my left hand mouse button, this is now going to go and rotate the view. It's going to rotate the viewport. Now, also remember that I did set my tumbling type um, to turntable and not to trackball. That's why when I'm rotating it round, it's not going on its side and all those sort of things. Yeah, so that's definitely worth doing. So, Alt and left hand mouse button is doing that. Alt and right hand mouse button is going to dolly in and dolly out of the scene. So, if I hold down my right hand key with my Alt button pressed down, and I push forward on my actually I'm pushing left to right aren't I? If I left to right and they can go zoom in and zoom out. Uh, the other thing to look at on that while we're doing that is if I go to file, user preferences, if you prefer um, the dolly method to be in vertical so you push up and down on your mouse to go in and out, you can do that. It's on horizontal at the moment. Let's swap it to vertical, close that down. So if I hold my mouse, so I hold my alt key down and my right hand button on my mouse down and I push up and push down I can do that. You can also invert it so at the moment when I hold down my right hand mouse button and I push forwards I'm pushing away from the scene and as I pull down with my mouse I'm coming towards the scene. You can invert that as well. Just a quick whatever. That's also on them preferences by the way if you want to have a quick look. So if you go file and you go user preferences, you'll see that you can invert the zoom direction. So we'll close that down again, get that, we'll get rid of that. So anyway, we're in here to do a little bit of sculpting, so let's get on with some sculpting. So um, I've got my object selected, got a little orange outline to my object, which is my head object. I want to go and add a um, modifier to it. You'll find that on the right-hand side, you've got all these little tabs on the right-hand side, and we're looking for the modifier tab that looks like a little spanner icon. So add the span, click on that. So we've now got a modifier. We're going to add it. And we're going to type of modifier we're going to add is a multi-resolution modifier down here. Clear. So highlight that, click on that, let go. It's added one. Um, so this is my modifier. You can get rid of modifiers with a little X key. You can do that. Um, so at the moment nothing's changed. We're going to add some subdivisions. So we're going to turn it to subdivide three times. So we're going to go click, click and click. So it's subdivided three times. Next thing I want to do is add a little bit of specularity to my model because our model currently lacks specularity on the materials um, or the surface. So let's go and add that so that when we're sculpting it we can see the sort of detail we're adding into it. So to the right of the um, modifier we've got a one called a material. So go to material. Now we've brought the object in uh, stupidly I brought the object, one object in, so the eyes and the pupil and skin are all the same mesh. So, if I, so as soon as I start sculpting around here, it's going to end up deforming the eyes, but for what we're doing, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to select the skin surface, and all I'm going to do is darken it down a little, so the diffuse color is currently white. Let's make it um, a bit grayer, okay, and then the specular is black, so let's turn the black up to a mid-gray. So we've got a bit of a highlight going. There we go. So we can see the form a little better, can't we? Right, so we're all good to go. Uh, let's go and travel down to the bottom of the screen where it says we're in object mode at the moment. So, well, we don't want to do that. We want to be in sculpting mode. So if I click and hold on object mode and swap it out to sculpting mode, uh, when I let go of the mouse, you'll notice on the left-hand side we've got like um, an inf information bar running up and down. You'll you see that swap out now swaps out to a sculpting information bar or toolbar as such. And in here I've got several tools. Now one of the things we want to go and turn on straight away would be symmetry because when you're sculpting on one side you usually want to see the sculpting you're doing mirrored to the other side. So I've got a symmetry um, tool inside here. I'm going to click on X. 
okay and then we're going to go and select a type of brush so I'm going to click on this picture and you've got some preset brushes to play with uh, let's just leave it on F brush for a minute then and then under the brush tools you've got um, the type of stroke you pl you're playing with so you've got space or airbrush or drag dot or dots or blah 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 we'll leave it on um, what it usually is on space and you've got spacing is at 10% um, and then we're going to say look we can look at the curve of how this brush falls off okay look over here now when I drag over here you'll see that my cursor's changed under my cursor I've got um, a circle which is the size of the type of brush I'm using and to make that uh, brush size bigger and smaller in the viewport um, you'll use the same uh, keyboard shortcuts you would use in Photoshop I believe which is your left and right square bracket keys and you'll find them on your keyboard just to the left of your enter key yeah which is just above your at key if you're using a UK keyboard maybe that's different on a American keyboard I don't know or a German keyboard you might have a German keyboard don't know um, someone's got to have a German keyboard I imagine Germans will um, okay <laughs> enough of stupidity so we've got our uh, thing working we'll want to go and just zoom in a little bit so hold down the alt key and use the right hand mouse button to just pull in a bit then we can use the middle mouse button while we've held down the alt key just to pull down and then I can just leave my uh, alt key held down I can then rotate around for a good view of whatever we're trying to look at and we're going to go and just do a little bit of sculpting finally we're doing sculpting so on here I'm just going to go over here and you can see we can add some weird and wacky detail on this yeah that's all good and groovy we can maybe add some hair I don't know what do you think a bit of hair could do can't we so add in some hair type of things really poor but you get the idea now you could come in to here with the with the sort of express reason of you want to do sculpting which is fair enough you could do sculpting which is what we're sort of doing at the moment um, or you, you might come in here with a, a low resolution mesh and what you want to do basically is just move it around with uh, brush type tools so one of the brushes we've got in here click on this we've got a grab brush okay which is here and um, what this will do it's like a move brush you can see the, again we're looking at the fall off we've got presets to fall off types yeah we've got you can go in and you can edit all these to be however you want them to be you can be all weird and wacky or you've got a basic preset we'll leave it at that one for the moment and we've got symmetry on so that's all good and groovy and we're looking at the size of the brush again so increase and decrease with the bracket keys and I can just pull around this guy's ear for instance so we've got on pull mode so get in the middle of this and that should just pull it out a little bit shouldn't it you need to be in the middle to pull out so the area is here and then it falls off so I can probably make that a bit smaller okay grab there and look around here I sort of just bring his ear roll out a little bit more I can look on the top maybe wants to come a bit more forward like so yeah and maybe push that back a bit I don't know what do you think but you get the idea you can pull ears around basically you can pull geometry around and obviously you can make that quite big so you can do quite large edits make his head a lot wider for instance quickly or down here we can sort of pull his mouth out his chins out a bit yeah and then pull back rotate around you get the idea there you go weird and wacky person so yeah basic tools up and running um, so well yes didn't quite do all the tools did we so the last thing to look at go back into so clay tools for instance um, you can add as is what you're doing at the moment is adding geometry you can smooth geometry back with the shift key so hold down the shift key and go back over it again and you'll smooth it back down again it's basically blurring the underlying um, uh, displacement map 
and if you press the control key that's going to do the opposite of uh, that's going to do um, subtraction so I can subtract into here you know, make holes and control Z is just undoing so I can undo some undos there we go like that so um, yeah there you go so that basically is a few sculpting uh, tools so it's not that painful is it just bring it in have a little play that's what I would do I just get a model that you're currently playing with uh, export it out of modeler have a little play you can either just bring it in and not subdivide it down at all you know you can go over to your uh, modifier tab again and you can get rid of your previews get down to zero again so you're back down to zero sculpting at zero and just you can just basically pull the guy around a bit so let's go to here go to pull and just so you could sort of um, create new faces quite quickly just by using the move tools I would suggest you bring the eyes in as a separate object that would be a clever thing to do Stephen uh, which I just didn't do but hey there you go um, yeah so you can either do morph targets or build new uh, characters just by bringing the same geometry in getting you know getting the sort of shapes you want to play with and uh, yeah there you go that is basically that isn't it so yeah all good stuff and uh, I think we'll sort of leave it at that before we ruin the model or if we make the video too big so yeah um, sculpting tools pretty simple uh, just use it as a open source plugin I would, I would say that's a really cool thing to do and then once you're happy with whatever you're playing with throw it back into Lightwave get your textures, rigging, lighting and render with VPR like you should do which is all cool and groovy. Right, with that, I'm going to go make a cup of tea. Hopefully we don't get this locked. Um, if I'm overstepping the mark by showing you this, please let me know and I will delete it. And simple as that. Alright, catch ya. See ya. Bye. Time for tea.